Australia intends to set a minimum age limit for children to use social media, ranging from 14 to 16 years old. What can Malaysia learn from this? We speak to Dr Benjamin Lowe, Senior Lecturer at the School of Media and Communication at Taylor's University, about the necessity of such laws. On the issue of social media limit, I do agree that we do need to have restrictions, but as with anything else that we think about, how exactly are we going to have this enforced? That's always going to be the biggest concern. And if you do not have a means of actually enforcing that properly, then you end up pushing people who will otherwise have very easy access into much more uh, sort of like dangerous ways of accessing it as well. Instead of restricting young Malaysians from using social media, Benjamin believes it is more crucial to educate parents and children on the safety and dangers of those platforms. It is more important to actually try to sort of like uh, improve the environment or rather sort of like focus on educating the parents to ensure that uh, even if the kids do want to access earlier, that the parents are actively monitoring, actively keeping control and to sort of like understand the dangers of what's involved and maybe also to focus more on education so that if the kids do get involved either on their own or for peer pressure, they actually have a better understanding of all the dangers that are present on social media at a very young age. But the problem with if you do sort of like put restrictions in place, you then end up forcing these youth to either go to, go through it in a way that is more secretive or they tend to use more, uh, how do you say, um, informal or illegal methods to access, which then expose them to the, a different range of uh, dangers and risks. In view of having a way of trying to enforce it properly, it, it makes more sense not to go that route, but they said, focus more on education, focus more on building awareness about the dangers and perils of using social media at a very young age. Because again, uh, children, teenagers even at that age are still uh, developing and they're forming a lot of the way that they see the world through their interactions around them. And social media is one of those key places that they're going to be absorbing a lot of that new information.